Um, it seems like we're um, uh, climbing a mountain uphill um, and keep slipping back. And uh, we ran into a very good team tonight that every mistake we made, uh, we, we paid for. So um, I'll meet with the team tomorrow. I have a, a couple of very specific messages and uh, hopefully uh, we can start climbing up without slipping so far back. Questions? Coach, um, a couple, I've heard a couple of announcers on ESPN say that you guys would need to win the ACC tournament to return to the NCAA tournament. Is that your view? Yeah, I don't look that far down the road. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get ready for Saturday's game. But if ESPN says it, oh, it must be right. <laughs> Coach, uh, I mean, obviously, you know, Matthew Pick was kind of a game time decision. I know he's battling with the illness, but wasn't able to get out there. What does that kind of do, you know, to your team confidence-wise when they know, you know, a good player like Matt is able to go out there when they're doing against a team like Duke? Well, the way I, I look at it, I don't know how the players look at it. I think when we're at full strength, and able to prepare and practice correctly, we're a much better team than we look like right now. But we're not at full strength. We didn't, haven't been at full strength almost the entire ACC race. You know, we lost in overtime at Wake Forest. We were without Wooga Poplar. We lost Syracuse at the buzzer. We were out in North Shadowmere. We've, we lost a close game to Carolina. Uh, we were without Keyshawn George. So. Every time you look, and if I, I, I said this a, a week or two ago, if you go back in time last year when we had a Final Four run, every time we lost one of our starters, we lost. Oh, we lost uh, North Shadow Mir, like at the first minute of the Duke game in the tournament, lost that one. Uh, Isaiah Wong was sick at Duke last year. He could hardly play, play but not really – it would be like if Matt Cleveland played today. And then we had uh, we lo our only loss at home was without Nigel Peck. So for us, we're not as deep, not as big as some of the teams in our league. So we need to be at full strength. We need to be healthy and playing well. And the only way you can do that is practice, preparation, where everybody is executing their role. Jim, in regards to your mountain comment, was there something that was the most concerning, most bothersome to you about tonight? Yeah, you know, I use this expression all the time to the players, that, that basketball is actually a race. I, the court is, is 94 feet by, by 50, so it's 94 feet long. It's a sprint, a sprint from one end of the court to the other. And the team that runs faster, longer, is normally the team that wins the race, all right? If you don't sprint, if you jog, if you're conserving energy, whatever your reason is for not getting back defensively or not trying to outrun your man on offense, there's a very good chance the other team is outworking you. And normally the, the uh, team that outworks the others is going to win, and Duke certainly outworked us tonight. Have you felt like that? I've actually felt that way all season. I would say I certainly have felt that way in all, all our losses this year. You go back to Colorado, go back to Kentucky. When I looked at the tape afterwards and saw how many times uh, someone outran us, maybe got a, a tip in or maybe got a layup or a dunk or maybe got an open three. And uh, it's been consistent. And... If you look at our Ken Palm numbers, you know, we're able in most games to score pretty well. We're averaging, I don't know, 75 points or more a game. Our problem is defensively of getting back and setting our defense. We just don't do it very well. And, and at, at this point in the season, I know you said it's gone on all year, but it may be easier said than done, but how do you essentially reverse that these final four the regular season? Well, I, I said my uh, messages uh, 
my words have not produced the, the correct results. So maybe I've, I've got to uh, uh, choose less words and more actions, meaning tomorrow we'll probably run a lot. Coach, Omir's had like an all-ACC type season today. Uh, the shooting percentage wasn't what he normally has, missed a lot of um, shots around the bucket. Do you think that was Filipowski's size, or what do you, what do you, how do you see what happened to Norchak tonight? Um, uh, I think in all players, we, we're talking about Norche, but it, it's all players. You, you develop confidence in yourself. You develop a, a, a pattern of how you're going to play the game. And when you enjoy success, confidence grows. When you don't enjoy as much success, whether it's you as an individual or the team, you are then distracted from having your own game, your own confidence, to worrying about the score. And that that's really what's happened to us a lot, that uh, you know, fall behind. Uh, we, we don't challenge ourselves to just go harder. And so yesterday uh, at the team meeting before every practice, I, I normally have a message for them. And yesterday I showed them video from two years ago where we beat uh, Syracuse when we were down 10 with a minute to go at Syracuse. I then showed them uh, the, the end of the Drake game, first round of the NCAA tournament where we were down eight with four minutes to go. And what my message was to the players is if you play the score with four or five minutes to go, you've already thought you've lost. We're behind, we're not playing good. At Syracuse, we're down 10 with a minute to go, and the guys haven't stopped competing. Competing. What does competing mean? Well, you got to play defense. you got to get back and set your defense. you got to rebound. you got to block out. you got to do all the little things that allow you to fight back into the contest. We did, we did it in the Drake game. We actually did it uh, in the Texas game in the NCAA tournament Elite Eight. But this year, we haven't shown that resilience, that competitive spirit that you need to make comebacks, to, to come from down 10 or 12. Now, tonight's game is much different than these others. You know, but we were ahead, of, we were ahead uh, of Boston College by five with five minutes to go. And they kept competing and going hard. And we, <laughs> uh, Zachary, their guard went coast to coast. He missed the layup. But he went coast to coast, outran our whole team, and, and shot a, a point blank layup. Now he missed. But when I'm talking to the team, I said, "How can we possibly allow a guy? We're winning the game, and we're still not getting back." So, you know, players eventually have to take responsibility for how how uh, competitive they're going to be in every possession. Now, some of our issue is. We're not deep right now, so fatigue can definitely be a factor, especially for someone like Bensley or Wooker or Norshad, the guys who are playing. You know, I, I don't know. They didn't play the last five minutes, but Norshad played played 31. Bensley played 37. Uh, Wooger played 35. That's not too much, by the way. But they got to get quality rest, and every time they go out, if the score goes from a close game down five, down ten, now it's up to them to come back in and and try to help erase that that lead. Oh, it's very challenging, very frustrating, disappointing for everybody that loves Miami basketball. Coach, you mentioned the fatigue aspect, but can you, I guess, pinpoint any other reasons why there has been, uh, I guess, lack of effort or lack of competitiveness at times in losses this season? Yeah, I, I've, I've said that, you know, it's, We, we need uh, to understand that's the game. You know, a, a, lot of, a, a lot of players, not just our guys, a lot of players don't understand how important just running the court is. Last question. I guess also I just want to ask, I, mean, I know Matt was a game time decision tonight, just how confident do you feel Penn 
Saturday about his status for that game? Um, I don't. I don't think you can ever predict how a guy will recover from sickness. You know, so you know, will he be good to go tomorrow? Probably not. Uh, I'm hoping by Saturday though we'll have Matt and and Nigel back, but we won't know that probably till Saturday. Thank you, Coach. What time's our game Saturday? Four p.m. Four. I like four p.m. Thank you, Coach. Take care. See you, everybody. Thank you.